2011 Tesla Roadster Sport, offered only to our most exclusive members. You know your vehicles. I promise to have her back before she turns into a Pontiac. Hey, Harvey, Lawrence, how would you feel about taking something other than the Tesla tonight? It goes against my policy. What policy? My I want the Tesla policy. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, you know more about the car than I do? It's yours. Horsepower. Really? That's where we're starting? Oh, if it's so simple, just answer it. 288. Top speed. 125 miles an hour. Zero to 60. 3.7 seconds. Yeah. You know your cars. I'm an enthusiast, and I've been waiting for the Tesla for months. OK. Lawrence. Knock yourself out. So why'd you let him have it? Because it never hurts to have a man who runs a $2 billion hedge fund owe you one. But if you're just going to give it to him, why bother to compete first? Because if I didn't beat him, he wouldn't feel like he owed me one. I'm suddenly feeling old school. Why don't you surprise me, huh? Are you Mike Ross? Harvey told me to tell you that 8 o'clock means 8 o'clock. It's a perfect day to waste away your perfect part to play. Just another perfect day, but before you know it's gone. Glad you showed up. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, I was Shut just... Shut up. Okay. You see these cars? Yeah, they're awesome. They suck. They're nothing compared to this. Whoa. The engine in this car is made by McKernan Motors, the industry standard in Formula One. In fact, they've won more championships than any other engine on the planet. How do you know all this? Avery McKernan was the first client I ever brought into the firm. Was? He died three months ago. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Not the point. McKernan's engines and his company have something in common. They win, like me. <laughs> and because I win, I've been promoted to senior partner, which means you'll be handling all their paperwork. Oh, so you brought me here to give me an appreciation for the product. No, I brought you here to meet Robert Stenslin, the new CEO. He'll want to put a face with your name. How do you know? Because Robert's a tightwad, and we don't bill you out for nothing. Wait a minute, is this conversation right now billable? I bet your ass it is. Yes. <laughs> Up top, come on. What? We're making all this money. We can't celebrate it? I'm um, poor taste. Dominic. Mike, I'd like you to meet Dominic Barone, the man responsible for the design and production of this engine. This is my new associate, Mike Ross. He's just a kid. You're trying to steal his soul before he hits puberty. OK, obviously. You're still I'm upset about best. our labor negotiations. My, my workers took a big hit. And McKernan took a bigger one, both of which poised the company to be strong for years. I was always straight with you about that. Sophisticated words for a guy who screwed us. Look, I'm sorry you feel that way, but you have to admit, I did have the courtesy to do it from the front. Wow. Yeah, he really appreciates what you've done for the company. Robert Stenslin, I'd like you to meet your new associate, Mike Ross. We're not paying him what we pay you. Nor should you, but I assure you he's highly effective. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. I had him read your corporate lease last week. Ask him anything. That's a 300-page document. OK, what are the terms? OK, I have no idea what you're talking about. And let's see, was the parent company Glendon Enterprises? 35,000 square feet at 19 West 57th, $80 a foot, expires in six months with an option to extend, exercisable in 30 days. Who signed the lease? You did. What's my middle name? The letter L. What happens in the event the company no longer exists? That wasn't in the lease. How can you be sure? Because the lease I read wasn't 300 pages. It was 364. And I could tell you what's on any one of those pages, but I can't tell you that. That's how I can be sure. Excellent. You can get them started on the new deal right away. New deal? Yeah. I have found a buyer willing to spend $200 million for the ground underneath the flagship factory. Where are you moving manufacturing? Well, that's the beauty of it. The real asset of McKernan Motors is the name. We move overseas, we save ourselves a bundle. A front payout while retaining the name and maintaining cash flow over time. That's genius. Exactly. Yeah, we'll take care of everything. <laughs> OK. Right. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> really? 
Jesus, I knew he was cheap. I didn't realize he was an idiot. What are you talking about? The asset's not the name, it's the quality. He moves overseas, he's gonna kill the goose that laid the goddamn golden engine. Wait a minute, I thought you didn't get emotionally attached to the client. I'm emotionally attached to me. Look, I made a bet that this company would grow and my billables would grow with it. We're holding a pair of aces and this asshole's trying to fold. So, what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna do anything. You're gonna go through those bylaws and you're gonna find me a way to get rid of Robert Stensley. No, 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 I have to go see my grandmother. Uh-uh. Is she dying? No. Cancel on her.